Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to talk about registration with regard to the input trigger device and a little bit about the player reference device. And so what I've got in the scene right now is I've got an input trigger device. I've got a customizable light that will be able to toggle on and off. We have two trigger devices, a player reference device, a damage volume, and of course a player spawner. And this is what this looks like if I go into the game. I'll start fresh. You saw earlier I have two trigger devices, an input trigger device, which you can't see, and my console, my verse device, and a damage volume over there, and my player reference, which you can't see either. So what's going to happen is if I click my left mouse button, you'll see on the left side where it says toggle light. Right now, if I click my left mouse button, I can't toggle the light. When I go over this trigger device, essentially what it's going to do, it's going to it's going to give me the ability to use my left mouse button to toggle the light off and on. I'm going to subscribe to that functionality, to that event, pressing my left mouse button down. And then when I cross the trigger again, it's going to cancel that subscription so I lose that functionality. Let me cross over the trigger device. Now I've been subscribed and registered to the input trigger device. So if I hit my left mouse button, I can toggle this light off and on now. And if I cross back over this trigger, I cancel that functionality and I can't toggle the light anymore and it's gonna stay stuck wherever it was. Now, with regard to some devices like the input trigger device and also the player reference device, you have the ability to register your player and put them on a list. And basically what that does then is it remembers the status of your settings essentially so that if you have a player killed in the game and you spawn back in or you go between rounds it will remember your settings it will remember what your input trigger device was on it will remember your score and stuff like that between games it won't remember it if you quit the game and come back but it will remember it if you just go to another round or you die and spawn back in i'm unsubscribed or canceled from the toggle switch so if i come over here I can toggle it back off on again, right? Now, if I come over here and I'll come around this way, you'll see that I can read this one will register me to the input trigger device and to the player reference device. So you'll see me over there, the character there. And now, if I get killed, come over here to the damage volume and get killed and spawn back in, you'll see that I'll retain my functionality that I had. I'll still be able to toggle the light and I'll still be remembered by the player reference. But if I were to quit the game, I would lose all of that. So this really makes sense in a way because once you like assign player controls to a player and you go to a new round, you don't want to lose those abilities. So see, I'm back in the game now and I can still toggle the light and you see I still have my player reference over there. So that's what you use the registration for, the registered players list for. So let's just take a look at this real quick. There's our input trigger device, and you'll see here I have it set to custom one, which is the left mouse button here. I'm not really doing with the anything with the player reference device other just to show you that, see how it has a player registration here, the same as the input trigger device. And like I said, it makes sense because you wouldn't want to give these controls to somebody go into a new round and then have those controls go away. And then here's my verse device and it's paired to the two trigger devices, to the player reference device, to the input trigger device and to the customizable light. And so let's just take a look at this code real fast. Okay, so this is all kind of replicated in the code. There's our two trigger devices, there's our player reference, there's our input device, there's our light. And I essentially have five methods here one is basically controlling toggling between turning the left mouse button on and then turning it off. So here's where I subscribe and here's where I cancel out. And then here's the for the trigger device where right up here we subscribe to registration here where we register our player, our agent there. I don't have a unregister function, I just have a registration function. I can cancel the registration essentially just by quitting the game completely. And then here, 
I have the switch for the toggle light here. And then here's a function just for canceling here. So when the game starts, we turn off the customizable light. And then the one trigger device subscribes to the switch input. And the second trigger device subscribes to the registration method here. We just print out a string. We reference my input device and we register it here. I guess I kind of register it double there. So actually I don't even need this line of code. I can actually get rid of that. That was kind of left over. But this line of code is really probably the most interesting of all of them. This one right here. Because what we do is we reference the input device, we press the event, we subscribe, and then we have the switch light down here the, for our toggle. And then when this starts out, this starts out as a, this is confusing, but it's an option type, but it has a cancelable type inside of it, which is, you can think of cancelable as the opposite of subscribable. So we don't call it unsubscribable, we, we call it cancelable. But it makes sense if we can subscribe to so many event directly, do so much direct event binding, why can't we unsubscribe? And the answer is we can, but we just do it with the cancelable is how we do it. So we can unsubscribe as easily as we can subscribe to things here. We set it to false, but then here once we subscribe, we essentially put our subscription inside substatus here. And that's what this is looking for. When we call here to cancel down here on the bottom, it's wanting that option type here. And then we send it in and we unpack it and then we go cancel and we cancel it all. So that's kind of the whole thing right there. I was curious about this one line of code that I deleted here because it looks like I had done this earlier and so I had actually had I'm going to have to delete this. And so I had done this earlier and I'd left those in from before, but I'm going to take those out and see if it makes any difference. And I, I don't think it will because we have our own registration going on here with the second device. So I don't think that registration here really impacted anything. So let me go ahead and recompile the code and push those changes. And we'll walk through it one more time. The one reason I wanted to do this tutorial is that I found this a little bit confusing about what the registration was for. But now I understand. And it was by looking at this one here because I remembered it has a player registration as well. So, but now it all makes sense. Like so many things in verse, it's puzzling at first, but then it all makes sense. So let's walk through this one more time and make sure that this works as expected. Okay, so... When I cross this trigger device, it's going to subscribe me to the input trigger device, which is going to then give me the ability to use my left mouse button to toggle that customizable light off and on. So here I go, I cross, and I can toggle the light off and on, and I'm subscribed to it. But I'm not registered. I, had, I took the registration out of that function. If I cross over it, I cancel the subscription, and now I can't toggle the light. So now I'll go ahead and resubscribe. I've got that ability. Now I can go and register here. So now I'm added to the player list. You'll see my player reference comes in. I've got my toggle ability. Now I'll come over here and I will kill myself <laughs> or kill my player, I should say. I think it's so cool how the, like the smoke even comes off of the vest as I'm in that volume there. And now I'm going to get zapped here. And now I'm going to come back in. And you'll see my player reference is still there. And I can toggle the light. The same as before. So it all works. Now here's interesting. I'll quit the game. And then I'm going to escape and I'm going to start it again. And you'll see I don't have anything. I don't have my player reference. I don't have anything. So that's where the player register comes in. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day.
and I'll talk to you next time.